In my mind's eye, I saw a procession of luminous orbs traveling across the sky. One of these objects reduced its altitude, and as it got closer, I could see a structured vehicle operating within a plasma cloud. The ship resembled the forms recorded by Billy Meyer. This object was recorded at the East SETI Ranch in South Central Washington State. I, along with hundreds of other people, observed numerous objects traveling across the sky, including several, such as this one, that were operating at low altitudes. There is significant camera jitter in the video, but we will also see how these objects are oscillating and pulsating in a way that is similar to what Kenneth Arnold described as saucers skipping across a watery surface. Precision flight in tight formation is evidence for the skillful operation of advanced technologies. These two objects are flying in tight formation across the night sky. Although man-made satellites are sometimes flown in pairs, the period between them can be as long as 28 minutes apart. The objects in the video appear to be much closer together. As they complete their transit of the night sky, we can see that the trailing object is the first to disappear. It's no secret that unmarked man-made stealth vehicles operate over the city of Vancouver and that infrared imaging systems are being used from the air. Where then are the archived recordings of infrared UFOs being observed by the operators of these systems? Evidently, some of these stealth vehicles operate in what appears to be an antagonistic fashion, pursuing flight paths that seem to result in near collisions. Is this evidence of failed man-made satellite intercept technologies? Are we witness to the sporting behavior of stealth vehicle operators? Or is there a war in the heavens? Perhaps only time will reveal the truth. This video reveals even greater potential danger for the stealth craft operator as not one but two possible intercepts are attempted. We can see both objects crossing the vehicle's path in rapid succession before it simply fades from view. Are the spontaneous emergence and disappearance of infrared UFOs similar to the behaviors of orcas whose dorsal fins temporarily spike the horizon while these predators emerge from the ocean's surface only to disappear once again? This luminous object, a potential structured vehicle operating within a plasma cloud, is traveling across the night sky. Observed through infrared wavelengths, it appears considerably brighter and larger than the stars and planets in the background. Sometimes, clearly imaged foreground objects can tell us more about the relative size and velocity of objects moving behind them. I was focusing my camera when I observed this luminous body crossing the sky. I was able to record the cedar tree in the foreground while tracking the orb as it moved into the distance. I waited for it to re-emerge and recognized that it had moved considerably further away before I lost sight of it again. Are high energy luminous events occurring in the skies over Vancouver?
this flying plasma cloud is witnessed with the tops of two seaters in the foreground present. It goes on to demonstrate the oscillations and pulsations that characterize the flights of these phenomena. The camera's motion lag, slow shutter, high sensitivity infrared recording capability draws a line that describes a path of motion wherein the orb oscillates and pulsates with light. The curves seem to suggest helical rotation, the orb generating a high-speed space curve while in flight. We can also see evidence for peak emissions of light as multiple points along the motion lag curve. This reveals that light energy from the orb is not emitted on a constant basis, but at a variable rate over the entire viewing period. This structured vehicle, embedded in a plasma cloud, is moving silently through the atmosphere. It's a stealth object, invisible to the naked eye, revealed in near-infrared wavelengths. The orb disappears behind a tree, re-emerges, and finally is gone from sight. Intelligent communications via evident response to light signals suggests a candidate for close encounter status, either Type 3 or Type 5. Watch as this orb begins to slow down and magnifies its luminous output temporarily in an apparent response to the laser pointer's signal. Sometimes the ships seem to compose the shot themselves, entering the frame in an apparent brilliant response to the laser beacon. This brilliant light goes on to gather a trailing object that emerges spontaneously and follows in formation. In my photographic catalog, I have recorded what can be described as discs with luminous coronas in flight near the camera. Within those coronas, I can see iconic faces. The pilot of this vehicle must have been irritated by my persistent signaling because the ship spontaneously vanished shortly after I began. This photograph shows a disc ejecting a coronal discharge while exiting a plasma cloud surrounding a dimensional gateway. This plasma describes a tiger wearing a crown. In the crown is a rider on a bird wearing a garland of seven flowers. These flowers correspond to the seven chakras of yoga. My attempts to interpret the infrared UFO summer video footage have illuminated my mind with visions of higher dimensional civilizations conducting operations with results similar to what's experienced by participants in meditation circles populated with cosmic yogis. Baba Nam Kewalam, love is everything.